Okay, so I'm going to go through most of this in the review itself, uh, but I wanted to show a couple of things with this flashlight. Um, out of the box, it doesn't work very well at all. Pushing this button is intermittent. Um, you can see right now it does work, but you know, you push the button, it's turning on, but you don't hear anything, it's soft. Um, I did come up with a solution to make it work, but shouldn't have to. Um, one of the things they talk about here, this, also we'll, we'll talk about this one first, um, the front piece, getting this in and out of here, almost impossible out of the box. Uh, no way that my wife would be able to do this, and that's kind of what I was thinking was putting it in her car. Um, but I don't think there's any chance that she would be able to, to open this as is out of the box. You have to really push hard down inside to get it to come out like this. Um, and then getting it back in to click is, is a little bit easier, but there's still a lot of pressure that has to go into this. And you can see the springs inside here in some of the photos that I took. Um, out, of the, out of the box, this is almost impossible even for me to to get it in and out to to lock it in and what i realized is there's this little clip here that comes on the front of the flashlight it clips onto here and snaps in and when you go to push it in this thing prevents you from pushing it all the way into the housing to where it actually latches and you can also see where this thing latches inside but it makes it almost impossible to get it far enough in to either lock it or release it from the socket to get this thing to come out. So first thing you want to do is take this, take a small screwdriver, pry it up underneath. If you can get this thing out, you can get better access to the back side of this and just pop that out, get rid of it, throw it out. Um, that causes a ton of problems with this. Without that, you can get it in and out fairly easily. It's still a little pressure to, to get it in there, but you can do it. Um, this groove here is for this bracket, which is meant to clip up underneath your console, your center console in your car, uh, and then you can adjust this thing around when this screw is, is loosened. Um, it works quite well. This is the best thing out of the whole package. The only problem that I see is that some of the consoles have a little piece that curves under to go into the carpet. And with that piece in there, it starts crushing it when you're trying to close this. So you might need to trim your, the bottom of your console. You'll never see it, but if that's what you wanted to do, that's what you would have to do to get this to stop, you know, to stop crushing the console and, and be able to snap in uh, properly. But it, this thing snaps in here. It holds the flashlight pretty well. Um, like I said, this is the best thing out of the whole kit. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this apart. I found a fix for this switch, and I also seen why this was working somewhat intermittently. Um, it's not waterproof at all. They say that it is. The only thing that's waterproof is there's a O-ring seal on the battery compartment, but we, what you'll see is that that does nothing for the entire body of the thing and the whole front end of this. And if the way that they show it mounted on the car where it's it's standing up in the air, this is all open. There's no seals down inside here. Um, water will just get down inside here and, and that'll be that. Even the LED boards that are inside here, they're not, nothing's waterproof in this thing. It, it wouldn't last if you dropped it in a puddle or something like that. Um, so I, I don't know how they managed to get a red dot award, I, I guess, I, I don't know. But it's definitely not waterproof, definitely needs a lot of work out of the box in order to get it to work. And knowing what I know now, I would never buy this thing. I'm familiar with Life Hammer from the door window hammers, the safety hammers. Um, I build custom emergency vehicles for a living, I engineer the build materials. And some of the specs call for the Life Hammer in the spec, so I kind of thought this was going to be a, a decent flashlight from a, a decent brand, but it's it's junk. It's it's not really wasn't planned out very well, and whatever they did, I, I don't know. But uh, I'm going to show you how to take it apart very quick. Um, you can pull the battery compartment out. It's pretty hard. Like I said, the only weather sealing is this little O-ring inside here. Um, you can store two sets of batteries at 
one time. One set is supposed to be like a spare. The other set um, is what's actually working the flashlight. Um, what I did was I removed this metal piece so that it's not, you know, there's no current being consumed at all with this thing. And then you also have an issue down here where this little metal bar connects down here. Um, it's going to be tough to see on this video. But down inside here, there's three welds, or three solders, where the pin switch come up in contact. This metal bar just lightly rests in that solder down there. It's not actually soldered to it. And when I got it, the edges, the corners on this were sharp. And they look like they could be shorting out to this little board down here. And that might have been a reason why this thing wasn't turning on all the time. Basically, it's, it's constantly feeding current to the boards up in the top of this thing. And when you hit the switch, that just interrupts the circuit for that second of a push. And that's what's changing the circuit board in here, telling the circuit board to change um, colors and go through, cycle through the colors. And I believe that because this piece was, was touching, able to touch one or the other of the other two posts, it was shorting it out and it was causing problems with this thing not turning on or switching fields too fast or whatever. But, um, so I only keep two batteries in it at this point. But to get this off, the solution that I came up with for this was I popped this off to get a look at the switch to see what was going on and why it was so hard and why it wouldn't work. And what I realized is that this plunger here is barely long enough to go down inside here. So if this is together, and I'll show you again, if you push this on here. Now that switch is in there and it clicks when it's on, but if I push it, no matter how hard I push it, you don't hear any click. It's not fully engaging this switch and that's why it's difficult to get it to turn on but what I realized is if I take a small piece of a wire hanger it's this tiny little piece here and what I did was I stuck it in that hole it fits perfectly inside that hole that was already there and it just sticks out a tiny tiny bit on the top and I put it back together let's put this back together Okay, now if I push this button in, you can hear it click. So it's engaging that switch every single time you push it in, you can hear that click. So you know that it's actually switching the switch, and then it works, no problem. Um, for the flashlight, I want to show you how easy this thing comes apart, and it really shouldn't. So one, this piece here pops off, and this is for a lanyard or you can use supposedly use this thing and hook this piece into here I have yet to get it to go in there uh, it is a major pain in the ass so I would never use this thing um, it doesn't go in there very well but you can also see that down inside here if I put my finger you can see the light that's not waterproof when this thing's in there it's only blocking this little tab here this is all still open all right. Then, to get this thing apart, you can actually just do it with your bare hands. All right? Nothing. No flashlight should come apart that easy. All right. You have to pull this piece off first, because that's actually all that's holding this thing together, and that just slides off, and that's holding the two pieces up towards this end together. But if I do that again, all right? The whole flashlight just fell apart, just blew apart. So I'm going to walk over here and grab that piece that went flying. Alright, so we got the pieces. The whole thing comes apart. Um, looking at the side of this thing, you can see that there's this little divot there. When this is closed, that's still an opening inside there, and there's no weather sealing in here at all. No gaskets. When this thing is together, you know, it's not holding anything. And what I did show in the um, 
in the photos so you can see that basically the current from the batteries when the battery compartment is in here all right you can see that they they touch these tabs with those little springs and it goes up and the current goes up through these rods into the circuit board inside here and I've had this apart it's in the photos um, when I got this these rods were loose it's just a screw inside into the circuit board and this this rod touches a little solder pad on the bottom of this thing with these loose they were barely touching those solder pads and it was also part of the problem of why it wouldn't turn on. I was able to tighten them a little bit but you can't get these boards apart because they're soldered together without soldering them, you know, desoldering them and pulling them apart so that you can actually tighten those properly but I'm not going to waste my time with that. Um, this is the little piece that moves down inside this little track here and locks down in place and when that um, pieces on the front here it doesn't allow you to get this down far enough for that to go down and, and lock where it's supposed to be and then you need to do it again to slide the thing back up and you can see I don't know if it'll do it without the springs in it but if we try it's in this it's in the socket now so you can watch that thing go down and then lock so now it's locked in place and if you push down on it again it clicks up and then it allows you, you know, with the springs, it'll push it out to the end. And then it comes down, goes down to lock. But um, none of this is waterproof, you can see. There's no gaskets anywhere in here. And that's where this thing sits and slides in and out, right? There's no gaskets in there. So if it's sitting up in the air, that light head is facing up, um, water is going to get down inside here and it's going to get sit down in this area and probably rust because of the current passing through there and then if you look at the back of this thing there's no water sealant on these going inside that housing this is open inside here where the clip is there's no water sealing in here nothing about this is, is waterproof um, but you put that little piece in the back here you can make the switch actually work um, and like I said get rid of this thing pop this off throw it in the garbage and it'll still then it will it will click down properly and work I wouldn't keep this out in the rain I wouldn't I wouldn't count on this flashlight f for much um, I have other flashlights from other manufacturers that that I trust and the flashlights that I know are gonna work when I need them to work this one I don't trust um, you know it's just not trustworthy enough from the outside it looks great looks like a good flashlight but out of the box it just doesn't work it doesn't work properly and and that's you know quite a few reviews mention it and you can see why it's it's pretty flimsy and, and plastic and not put together very well um, I don't know how they got a red dot award, but uh, this thing is is very sketchy. So hopefully that helps you um, make your decision. You know, is what it is. Thank you.